Hey you guys, what's up? Uh, so, I don't really know what I'm going to talk about in, in, I don't really know what I'm going to talk about in this video today. I was planning on filming a hair tutorial today, but I was just like, woke up this morning and I just was like, no, like, I don't feel inspired to do that. I don't feel like in the mood for it. Uh, and I think it's kind of like, you guys know I'm hella deep with everything. We've talked about this multiple occasions. I am very introspective and just, I don't like surface level things. I think that surface level things are really just band-aids or masks on deeper issues or deeper secrets or deeper feelings about a certain thing so when it comes to anything that I do I always have to find purpose in it it always has to really resonate with me on a deeper level and even down to hair tutorials literally like I have to feel very empowered and ready to like educate whenever I do hair tutorials because that is why I do hair tutorials why I do makeup tutorials and all that kind of stuff is because I want to help and so every time I film a video I'm asking myself okay how am I helping somebody by doing this how am I exercising my own creativity when I'm doing this and do I feel good about what I'm creating and today I just woke up feeling like I wasn't going to create anything beautiful today and that's just what it is. But I still wanted to give you guys something in place of my Wednesday videos because I always upload every Wednesday and every Sunday. So I didn't want to just be like, oh, I don't feel like it today. And then, you know, not give you guys anything. So I decided to, you know what, let's document this kind of feeling. And I was trying to like unpack my feelings and I started thinking about why I've been feeling the way that I've been feeling lately. So I've talked about, you know, bettering yourself on my platform. I've talked about, you know, uh, recognizing how great you are and focusing on that and allowing yourself to just accept the fact that you're not perfect and there are going to be some flaws that you have as a person, but, you know... We all have those and we all have things that we want to work on and improve on and I mean essentially you guys are watching hair tutorials and makeup tutorials because you want to learn about how to do a style or you're just interested in it and you know but it's always something where you want to go to that next level of yourself. We buy nice clothes and put on, you know, really pretty makeup and everything so that we can be a better version of ourselves in all ways, you know, whether that's super, you know, vain or super, you know, deep and real. We're, we're always constantly, constantly looking for a way to be the better version of ourselves, right? And so... You know, I do social media for my job, I upload on YouTube as a job, and work with brands as a job, and so I'm constantly going through Instagram, looking at other people's pages, and just kind of seeing what else is going on out there. And I'm the kind of person where I don't get influenced very easily, you know, I can pretty much see through BS a lot of times, but in other ways, you know, I have my weak points too. And one of those weak points is just looking at the atmosphere that we're creating for young girls, for women, for older, you know, for all ages. It's kind of like this idea that social media, Instagram, whatever, is creating a type of woman that is getting a lot of attention these days. And... You guys may call it or call her, her, I'm just going to say her, the Instagram baddie, the Instagram model, the, you know, social media maven, all those things, whatever. And, you know, I hate that social media is only, is, is, is creating like this, like Instagram baddie was not a thing five years ago. So it's creating like this new, like view of a kind of person that you can be. And 
The whole idea is problematic in a lot of ways, but it's also good in some ways as well. So I was thinking about it because I want to talk about how it impacts me and how it makes me feel being in the beauty space, being a content creator, being a beauty guru, all those things. Having done this for years, even before Instagram was a thing, before, you know, Snapchat was a real thing, you know, like I've been here for a while and it just looks so much like mass like media it, it's becoming like today's version of television and magazines and while television magazines print is going out of style we as people our behaviors are the same we look at tv and if we see somebody who looks out of place on TV or isn't beautiful on TV, it's like weird. You know, like if you see somebody who's acting and whatnot or in a role and she's like the, the you know, main character or whatever, she has to be beautiful. Like, has to be. And when she's not beautiful, we notice it. So we notice when a character isn't like your standard beautiful skinny model-esque person we notice it we notice it because it's something different and we're used to seeing like a certain type of person so when we watch television and we read magazines and we look at models and actresses and and people in entertainment or whatever we expect them to look a certain way right so fast forward into social media and youtube and instagram and all these things and we look at instagram we look at YouTube and we expect the same thing. We expect every single person to be incredibly beautiful, incredibly fit, incredibly sexy, incredibly like just this that we have this whole idea of what we are supposed to look like as far as being people in the limelight and people, you know, in sh in 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 Hollywood or in our own versions of Hollywood which is YouTube and all these things and it's like the whole cycle that we were trying to fight as far as you know dismantling the idea of what is beautiful and what is not beautiful dismantling the idea that you have to look a certain way to be considered favorable to be considered valuable to be considered worth something it's transferring into social media and I think a bigger thing that we need to talk about is how are we stopping that behavior from continuing it's not just about oh I don't like the fact that in movies I don't see other women that look like me so I'm not gonna watch movies anymore I get to see women that look like me on YouTube okay great cool right but then you start unconsciously expecting your favorite YouTuber or your favorite, you know, person you follow on social media to look like a movie star all the time. It's like this idolization of people, right? And we do it. We do it with our favorite actors and actors. Like, you know, if I met Beyonce today, I would lose my mind. I would lose it. I would lose it because to me, I have just... I don't idolize her as a person, but I just admire her incredibly, you know? I admire her work ethic. I admire her, her, her looks. I admire her strength. I admire her talent. You know, I admire all these things about Beyonce, but I have to remember that there's only one Beyonce in this entire world. And somehow, some way, I've got to be okay with myself with the fact that I don't look like Beyonce. I have to be okay with myself that I will never be Beyonce. I will never be close to Beyonce as far as like a person because everyone is their own being. Everyone has their own purpose and their own path. So it's like I can't look at her and say I want to be just like her because that would set me up for failure. And I think that's what's happening with a lot of young people and older i mean i'm not even gonna put an age on this because it can happen to anybody anybody that is heavily influenced by other people in media or on social media you know we get heavily influenced by these people and it's just something that i think we have to be more cognitive of and i think the people that are very cognizant of it end up walking away from it 
because they understand that they're not going to be fulfilled as people or changed as a person by watching this person or that person. So you kind of mature out of it and I feel like you end up just not watching YouTube videos anymore. You don't really watch, you don't really keep up with like Instagram or anything like that. You kind of just like be happy in like your life and you move on, which is so cool. But I also don't want to put it out there to say that, you know, social media is only for young people or you get over it eventually or whatever because at the end of the day, we're always going to be influenced by something or someone. And the hard part about it is that if we don't recognize that, yes, we can appreciate and admire somebody's gifts and somebody's, you know, presence in the world, we have to remember that that does not mean that we aren't as good as that person. It does not mean that we are not as valued as that person. And the thing is, is that we have to believe that ourselves. No one can tell us that. No one can beat it in our heads. Nobody can do that for you. You have to believe that. And so circling it back to how I've been feeling lately is I've been feeling very, like, I've been feeling like I've been detoxing to a certain extent for like the past few weeks. I've been detoxing from makeup, from being, feeling pressured to look a certain way, to be a certain way. And it's really competitive here on YouTube and in social media. And it's a lot of pressure to, you know, get a lot of views on a video or get a lot of likes, get a lot of comments, get a lot of engagement, you know, like, constantly creating really amazing things that go viral you know you, you it's like this constant like looking for the next thing and I was thinking about it the other day and I was like wow this is this must be how you know musicians and artists feel you know when you have that hit record and then people are looking at you a year later like okay where's the next hit record like where's your album where's this like what's going on and that whole time you've been putting out music but nobody's been paying attention and I mean nobody as in like the mass population. You probably have like your core, you know, your core audience that's like down for you always. But as far as like mass media, nobody's paying attention because nothing that you've produced has grabbed their attention yet. And so I, I say that to say, you know, that's how a lot of us here on YouTube are as far as like, you know, you have one really great video or a few really great videos. And then you put out other things that, you know, may not garner as much attention and that doesn't mean that that content is less than that doesn't mean that that content isn't as good it just means that it wasn't the thing that popped off and so it's kind of like this weird game of like okay putting stuff out hoping that people like it and then putting stuff out not caring if people like it and it's like a constant back and forth and so I've really been kind of thinking about why I do what I do and what it means to me, where I want to see myself in coming years because honestly, y'all, like, stardom is short. You know, you see somebody, and I mean stardom in any form. You know, you're, you're the star at your job. You're the star in your community. You're the star on YouTube. You're the star in the movies. You know, like, that's never something that continues at this high level always like you may have like you know kind of ups and downs you know but I'm talking about like once you hit a peak that peak never always stays exactly the same you may have some downtime you may have some higher times but like it's gonna be variation in life because nothing in life is constant like everything changes in life and it continues to change whether you like it or not it always is changing so I've been trying to have this idea of like, okay, I want my, I want my, my spirit to be the constant thing. My spirit can change in environments and things like that, but I want like my core and who I am to remain the same in all these different phases of my life. And, you know, something that's really been on my heart lately has been like, you know, my image and how I look and, you know, I have been getting a lot of, uh, I always get a lot of attention the way I look. I put myself out there so I get a lot of attention like that. And then just in general, I have always been the girl that gets 
told that she's beautiful and that she's amazing and all these things. And despite all of that, I still feel moments of inadequacy. And I think that's okay. I think that's normal because I don't know if there's anyone on this earth who completely feels 100% confident all the time. I don't believe that there's anyone who feels that way. All the time? No. You can't tell me that. You can't tell me that. I have lost my earring. Right when I was about to start going in, y'all, the earring want to pop out. But, like, you can't tell me that, uh, that the most confident people on this earth never feel down about themselves at any point. So, I was like, okay. I started, you know, marinating on that idea. And then I was just like, damn. The only reason why I started feeling a way about the way that I look is because of people comparing me to whatever else they see on Instagram, whatever else they see on YouTube, whatever else they see in the magazines. It's because other people have made me feel bad about how I look. And this process started years ago. Like, because I've been on social media for more than 10 years. So it really didn't start until maybe a few years ago. And that's when I was like, okay, I need to like change this about myself or, oh, I need to do this. I need to like, you know, be this size or that size. And that's just like, it started getting draining. And I finally got to a point like a couple months ago where I was just like, I am tired. I'm tired of being pressured, feeling stressed, feeling like, you know, gosh, I gotta, you know, fit into this outfit that I don't feel comfortable in. I've got to, you know, change the way that I see myself. Um, I, it, it started getting draining. I started feeling bad about myself. And that's when I think the, the light switch went off and I started like, letting go of like wearing makeup every day letting go of you know feeling as confident about myself and I'm not saying that in a bad way I'm saying that as in a let's get a clean slate in here like let's like dust this shit off like let's like get out of this like let's change our lives for a change let's do something different for a change because I'm telling y'all, if you're dependent on a T to get your stomach flat, you're setting yourself up for failure. If you are depending on a hair growth pill, you're setting yourself up for failure because those are not sustainable ways to feel good about yourself. Look at that. You're literally building yourself up because of this one thing, a pill, a tea, a drink, whatever, and then you get yourself to this place, ooh, I've been on this tea for so many odd time, and like now I look like this. Okay, what happens if you stop drinking that tea? Then you're going to go back to that place that you didn't want to be in, looking for another way to make yourself feel good again. And it becomes a cycle. It becomes a cycle of always going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, until... You never change your life and really get healthy, literally, or you finally change something for real. And that's where I am. I've been like just like wiping out every like negative thing that I've like pulled into myself, you know, and it's been an emotional journey. I have been literally emotionally just extending myself further because I recognize I have to grow as a person. And to become a better person, I have to look at the shit I don't want to deal with within myself. And it's hard. It's hard because I want to see myself as perfect and great and amazing 24-7. But I'm not that 24-7. Sometimes my attitude is jacked up and I have to recognize that that's not okay to have a jacked up attitude sometimes. Like, there has to be limits to negativity because if I allow myself to be 
if I or if I allow myself to have a, a messed up attitude for long periods of time or you know whatever that is me not winning that is like the better version of myself sitting inside of myself and watching myself conduct business like damn Jade you're better than that why are you acting like that but I know this is my better self speaking I know that you're super prideful so I can't come out right now because your pride is is taking over right now I don't have the steering wheel anymore your pride your your stubbornness your like idea that you know everything is driving this car right now not me not the better version of yourself not the version that you have really created to be good to be humble to be graceful to be compassionate that that version of you is not being able to shine because you are allowing pride and stubborn and ignorance and naiveness and self-doubt to come in and drive this car so with that being said I have been really focusing on building myself back up allowing my better version to drive this car and it's been a struggle because it's just y'all know it's hard it's hard this this earring just does not want to stay in um it's hard it's hard because both sides live in all of us right we all have good and bad no one is purely good no one is purely bad we all have a balance of both. And I remember reading like a comment or something from even President Obama, like saying that like he has both sides. You know, we all have good and bad in us, but it's what we nurture which will prevail. You know, are you feeding your negative side? Are you feeding your pettiness? Are you feeding your stubbornness? Are you feeding your pride? Or are you feeding your good heart? Are you feeding your ability to have compassion? Are you feeding your humanity? You know? So those are questions I had to start asking myself. And that's where I've been. So I haven't really been doing um, a lot of makeup and a lot of, you know, very trendy YouTuber things lately because I've been just kind of having solace in me and diving deep and really trying to figure out, you know, how to be a better version of myself, how to, how to be me in the space that I work in, in beauty. Um, and so it's a journey. And I thought I was actually going to talk about like my weight and stuff in this video, but it ended up being something totally different. But I give myself these types of videos because I know that I'm speaking from a place not of myself. I know that I'm speaking from God. And if you are watching this, I'm just the messenger. And I'm already, I'm getting emotional because like, that's, I know that this is why I do what I do. Because like, I'm supposed to be the vessel to get you guys the message that you need and these videos can never be planned <laughs> they can never be planned because I only get the message when I get it and I have to get it out so I don't remember what I said in this whole video <laughs> I don't even know what I talked about the whole time but it is it I won't cut it out because it's what you guys needed to hear so ah <sighs> yeah yeah Anywho, uh, I don't really know what else to say, which doesn't have to happen to me often, but I don't know. I guess that's the end of the message because <laughs> I have nothing left. I don't even know what else I have. So yeah, um, I hope you guys got something out of that. Um, yeah, I hope you guys did. And if you guys want more um, videos like this, let me know. I will do them when I 
feel inspired to and I won't feel like I don't need to do it. Um, wow, that's so weird. I feel weird right now. Make a decision. Make a decision on what you're going to do with your life. Are you going to be better? Or are you not? It's as simple as that. 